For book one, proposition 13 of Euclid's Elements, if a straight line set up on a straight line make angles, it will make either two right angles or angles equal to two right angles. So what this is saying is that if we have some line DC and we have a line coming off of it, AB, that the angles formed between these two lines will either be both right angles or will add up to two right angles. So if we take the first case where each of these angles are equal to each other, we know by definition number 10 of Euclid's 23 definitions that these two angles being equal implies that they are each right angles. And if they're both right angles, we know that the two lines are perpendicular. So our first case, we do end up with two right angles. But now let's assume that these two angles, this one here and this one here, are not equal to each other. So the first thing we want to do is use book one, proposition 11, to construct a line that's perpendicular to the line DC at this point B. So let's construct this perpendicular line. We can label this point E. So now essentially this angle DBE, so angle DBE is equal to the angle EBC. And both of these angles are right angles. Now, what we can notice is that this angle EBC is really just two angles. This one here, ABE, and this one here, ABC. So this angle EBC is equal to the angle ABE plus the angle ABC. And we can use common notion Number two, which says that if we add equals two equals, then the holes will be equal. So in this case, we can add angle DBE to each side. So let's do that. So now that we've added this angle DBE to each side of this equation, let's look at a different angle and then we'll come back to this. So what we can see is that the angle DBA is also composed of two separate angles. So DBA is composed of this DBE and this ABE. So DBA is equal to angle DBE plus angle ABE. And again, we're gonna use this common notion, number two, to add the angle ABC to each side of this. So let's write that out. And now that we've added this angle ABC to each side of this equation, what we can notice is that the right-hand side of this equation is the same right-hand side of this equation. Notice we have DBE in each, and we also have ABE and ABC in each. So we can use from here common notion number one, which says that if two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal to each other. So this expression here and this expression here are both equal to these three angles. So therefore, we can conclude that they're equal to each other. So let's write this out. So angle DBE plus angle EBC is equal to angle ABC plus angle DBA. And this is important because the angle DBE this angle here, and this angle EBC, these are each right angles. We know that from this book one, proposition 11, when we constructed the line BE. So we know that these are each right angles. So essentially, our two angles that we started with, ABC and DBA, are equal to two right angles, which is exactly what we sought to prove, and we can end our proof with QED.